Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today, we're gonna work with Algolia. Algolia is a, is a platform that you can use for keyword matching into a large database or basically into your database. It's really fast. It's really fast how it returns the results of really large data sets. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you how it works. But you can connect it to different CSV or JSON files. You can connect it into a, a website, into a database, into BigQuery. You can do a lot of things here. And yeah, basically a couple lines of code and you can have like a really, really fast search. So let's get started. We're gonna go and continue with GitHub. And basically once it's inside, you will see your first application and then you'll be requested to create an index. I already created one and it's called here coding with Ado. Okay, the index is gonna be like the name. It's requesting you the name of the index. And now let's grab our data set. So you can upload here the records. You can use a connector to connect to BigQuery, Shopify, BigCommerce, any other the platform there. You can add manually or we can upload a file. Okay, so let's upload a file and we're gonna upload a really large file. Okay, to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use another service called Kaggle. So Kaggle.com, it's a platform that you can search for large data sets. Okay, so let's sign in with my account. Oh, there it is. Uh, so we go to, we could go to some data sets and search, or you can use their search, which I think they are using as well as well. So let's search for Disney, for example, Disney movies and series. Okay. And we download that file. <coughs> Perfect. And then we go to Algolia and let's drop that file. Okay. So it's uploading the records. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So now we have all this big API with, I don't know how many, I think they have like 300, 500 items. Ah, one for 1,400. Cool. So now let's try and use a search. Let's try and call our search to look for this. Okay, so let's start with the code. So what we're going to do is let's start creating our package and let's install Algolia, Algolia search. Okay, meanwhile, let's create our index.js file. Let me save it as always. Compiler, perfect. So let's require require Algolia search. Okay, let's create our function. Functional search with Algolia. And here we're gonna do sending the, the search and let's create our try catch here console error 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 okay cool so let's start working with this so first thing we're gonna initialize our client so const client equals to algolia search and we're gonna do the app id and 
of the admin uh, the Becky. So let's install our dot end. And we are going to add here three things actually. So let's add the application ID. Let's add the API key. And we're going to add here also the index name. Okay. So let's grab all of them. Okay. So let's start with application ID. So we have here our application. And here's our application ID. Sorry, application. Copy. And we paste here application ID. Now we need the well, now we need the API key. So API keys. Application ID, search admin API key, this one only. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. And now we need the index name. So we go to our, our application. We go to our index and let's copy perfect and here it is our index name so we have now to require dot env dot config so we do here process dot env dot application id process dot env dot uh, API key API key yeah and then index name okay and the next thing we do is we set the index to the client so we do cause index it's gonna be a client dot init index and in here we do process dot n dot index name so now we know where we're gonna search and now we're gonna do the search okay so we're gonna do index dot uh, search and the query ID is gonna be the search and then we're gonna send the hits. Um, actually, no. We're gonna do hits of ten hits, etc. What we are gonna do is as this is gonna this is an async function. We're gonna do the cost found equals to await index dot search search okay and then return the found so let's create our function that it's gonna send it's gonna execute our code cost uh, find it's to await search without OEA and here let's say for example uh, um, okay console log find okay so let's test this out okay cool we find an answer that will Miggy Miggy go local Mickey Mouse Club, let's search for another thing, for example, Iron Man. I don't know, I think it's all there. Let me 
we have Marvel Studios, Captain America Civil War, and then it's all rules, so you dictate, and here I am in the description. So that's the interesting thing. It's not searching just for titles, searching for the whole thing and searching for keywords that match Iron Man. So yeah, basically that's how you use Algolia to search through the big files. And yeah, you can use this on your front end to allow users to start typing and search all these things. So yeah, if you like, uh, remember to subscribe, comment if you want your API or any API to be next. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.